Hello. I'm uh, today. I'm gonna just uh, be lighting. Uh, I haven't done anything for this series in quite some time, so you know, why not? Um, I've talked before how I've written stuff, so uh, how about record myself doing such things? Uh, you're not gonna see what I'm writing, but whatever. Um, what I am writing is essentially a script for like a Star Wars type film. And I say that because it's not called Star Wars, but it has the character, some of the characters from Star Wars, some of the planets and stuff, but it's also somewhat within our universe as well. It's like Earth and the Star Wars universe are connected and such. Uh, might sound weird or odd, but whatever. Um, probably will never be made. Um, and uh, that's fine. I could always uh, put this out as a uh, fan fiction. Uh, I have a story planned uh, for it. Of how many movies there are, so, or how I would like there to be so many movies, but now I'm working on a script, so I thought, you know, I haven't made a Jared's Corner type video, and, you know, for those of you who have, are new, uh, I've been frequently watching the film talk stuff where I just talk about random, or various movies, not random movies, uh, there are movies I enjoy, um, that series kind of came from this series, and uh, basically this series is just me doing whatever. And uh, it kind of began to do film stuff, and then I thought, now nah, I can do a separate series on that. And uh, yeah, here we are. So, I hope I can talk while I'm doing this as well. Uh, fix some stuff up here. So yeah, if this video sucks, I apologize. Okay, I can either fix this here or add stuff here. That's fine for now. Stuff more up upward. Hmm. Mara Jade is going to be a character in this. Series of scripts that I'm writing.
I've actually written a lot of pages and stuff. Um, one script is over 200 pages for this series. I think they'd all be around over 200 pages and all that kind of... I'm writing a lot, like, very... They're very, um... I'm thinking in terms of, like, it would be cool if it, if it had, like, an epic scale, sort of like Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, that's how I'm writing these would-be movies, or would like to uh, be movies. But, again, the likelihood of uh, these films uh, becoming movies seems low.
That doesn't look great. So, yeah, um, so yeah, uh, with how things are going at Disney, uh, uh the way my, uh, films would be, uh, regarding the universe of Star Wars, the way, and, uh, the characters, I don't think that they would the people over at Disney and Lucasfilm would probably be like what I uh, want to do <laughs> with those characters. Um, I'm using various vehicles and characters, taking old characters from like prequel era, original trilogy era, and some EU era characters and bringing them all together in one. kind of big thing, like they're all together, you know, like Darth Maul's live, well, along with Luke Skywalker and all those characters, um, something like that, uh, might actually be sounding stupid, honestly, when I think about it, um, Writing a scene with Luke and Mara at the moment. They're uh, they haven't seen each other in a while, and they're you know trying to be a little intimate in a way. You know, not like you'd see sex on screen or there's any written, but they kind of get a uh, interrupted in their just essentially annoyed, honestly, right now. Like, they just want time for themselves, but then it's like there's things going on. And, and for a moment, they have, like, a brief window to kind of, like, relax. They haven't seen each other in some time. Trying to... Trying to have a little time together. They've caught up a little bit, and well, they just kind of want to have a little fun. But uh, someone like comes and like knocks on their door, and it's like, yeah, can't can't get a, catch a break. Uh, it's like just when you think finally there's time alone, I can be with my significant other. Talk, yeah, perhaps have a good time, and then all of a sudden, um, you get interrupted. And, uh, I'm not very good at writing uh, comedy, but I'm trying to make this somewhat comedic. I'm trying to write this in a style of sort of realistic dialogue of today, yet be space opera, you know, have that melodramatic type dialogue mixed in and there are various moments where I want to try and have both. I want it to be a mixture of both. Like, oh, okay, these moments are melodramatic. These don't need to be so melodramatic. And, and this scene can be a bit humorous, and, but yeah, I'm not really that great at writing humor. You know, I might write a line or two that could be considered uh, humorous to a degree, like chuckling or you could chuckle to it or something.
It's just something like, you know, like Luke for this is like Luke made a little comment. It's something he really hasn't said to her before, and and now because they're interrupted, he uh, he kind of like wants to. He, he kind of realizes what he said, and he's kind of like, oh well. I don't know, maybe this isn't the right time to be saying that, or whatever, maybe I shouldn't have said that, because now it's, it could be kind of humorous. And, uh, the first thing I wrote, was the first kind of film for this, um, you know, Myra, Myra Jade's a, she could be a sarcastic, she could be a sarcastic character humorous with her interactions with Luke. I didn't really play with that in the first one because I'm like, I'm trying to, I don't know, I wanted the characters to be different, yet at the same time their core kind of be the same, so hopefully like with these sequel scripts I could flesh that out and show some more of that kind of character. Um, that I was lacking a bit, uh, actually not really a bit, uh, quite a lot in the the first one, because I don't really believe I actually ever really wrote hugely humorous, any humorous dialogue for her. But then again, the, the situations and stuff I wrote, there wasn't really a whole lot of room for any kind of humor. I didn't want to try and force it in there when it didn't fit, so I thought, yeah, I could do that for like a sequel or so, or something like that. Um, This one could be better if it ever got <laughs> made. I could always re come back here later, but I don't know. I'm not talking to myself, and also you, and you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh. It could work.
that I had something up here to help make sense of. Something that happens later on. sense. Or in case they
No good way of communicating, which is what makes sense now. Yeah, spell check, spell check, spell check. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not even a word. Purposely. Purposely. Seriously, you don't know what the word purposely means. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, I don't know. I'll just use my phone, because that'll be easier, because the internet here is going to take forever. Honestly. There. All right, now get out of there. All right. Yeah, I actually managed with my additions and stuff, and all this uh, made a good deal of headway. I have like four or five pages written and. Sometimes you go back and forth in ideas and stuff, and like five pages a day is what you should really be writing for. That should be like your base goal. And I wrote that today, so I'm actually happy I aimed at my goal. Because if you write like five pages a day, and me adding this and that here and there, actually combines and fixing things, moving stuff, it's a constant thing with me. Some days I don't even really continue with the story if it's not finished. Uh, I'll just go and like fix things that kind of bother me and uh, save that. that object right. that's it for that place today alrighty then uh, I know this is probably boring to you but this series is designed just to be about anything and it can be whatever so So that was me today, just writing. Uh, not really exciting, I'm sure, on your end, because you didn't see what I wrote. But then again, what I've given away is probably 
a lot more than I really planned to in terms of what I thought of for Star Wars and such. But again, it will probably never get made. Oh well. But for me to help, since I've had this kind of idea of doing something with the Star Wars characters, that universe, as well as uh, combining that with uh, our galaxy and Earth and all that, I've had this idea of doing something, writing something, with the hopes of making it into a movie. Always had those. I always had those expectations fairly low. But now with Disney owning it, it's even a lot lower than it was before. Um, but uh, writing this, I think, uh, will help get it out of my system. You know, I wrote it down. It's done, essentially. One's done. The others have yet to be complete. I'm on my way of completing this one. I feel I'm nearing the end of uh, this script, um, uh, but I'm happy I'm writing it. You know, getting something like this off your chest is probably good that way. Other projects you're gonna make, plan to make, it'll open and broaden, and. Um, tribute to Star Wars and George Lucas, well, perhaps it may never get realized on the big screen, but I can have it done down in writing form. So, there is that. Um, yeah. Probably the most I've talked here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm basically done writing for now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make an episode of Jared's Corner. It's my corner of the internet, which makes no sense at all. There's no internet. There's no corners of the internet. It's so it's kind of a dumb title, but it's a title nonetheless. So yeah. Shall uh, see you all later. Take care.